G'day, we're down at the on the shores of Lake Macquarie at Belmont and we're staying at the Pines Caravan Park. A great place to uh, get some fabulous water scenes that we will use as a background for our next Aussie Bible study. So you sit back and enjoy the scenery and soak up the teaching from the Word of God. Welcome to the Aussie Bible study and today we're having a little bit of background scenery from Lake Macquarie in New South Wales um, as we look at the introduction to a new book and that's uh, the book of Romans or Paul's letter to the Romans. When you look at the book of Romans it's like you're standing at the entrance of a deep and valuable gold mine because there are incredible insights and very valuable treasures inside this book. Some of our studies will simply be just reading the words that were, were written by Paul and others will include some explanation. It is one of the longest writings of Paul, written about 57 AD and probably written from Greece in uh, Europe to the persecuted church in Rome. A place where Paul had never been, but it's a place where he longed to go. Paul had been building churches right through the east of the Roman Empire, from Jerusalem to Antioch, and he had desired to have a, a base in Rome, the capital of the Roman Empire, to launch out his work of evangelism westward and into Spain. But the church community in Rome had become divided between the Gentile Christians and the Jewish Christians over questions of the law. They were arguing about whether or not believers need to be circumcised or whether they should all be eating kosher food or respecting the rules of the Sabbath. And some riots had broken out against the Jews. So the Roman emperor at the time, Claudius, expelled all the Jews from the city of Rome. And so they were sent out of Rome into exile, leaving the Gentile Christians in Rome to carry on uh, regardless. And later, when Claudius died, his successor allowed the Jews to return to Rome. So Paul was aware that the Christians in Rome needed to be unified. And so that's part of the reason why he wrote this rather uh, elaborate uh, letter to the church in Rome. And as he writes this letter, there are some steps through the book of Romans that have been picked up as what they call the Roman road to salvation. And uh, these are some of the scriptures that form part of the Roman road. Romans 3.10 says, for example, there is no one righteous, not even one. And Romans 3.23, we all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And then in Romans 5.8, but God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He died for us even though we were still sinners. And as you go through the letter to Romans, you can pick up the steps on the Roman road through the other scriptures. And the next one is Romans 5.12, which says this, it says, When Adam sinned, sin entered the world. Adam's sin brought death. So death spread to everyone, for everyone sinned. In Romans 6, 23, 
for the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The next step is Romans 10, 9, 11. If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God and it is openly declaring your faith that you are saved. And as the scripture tells us, anyone who trusts in him will never be ashamed. And the final step in the Roman road is Romans 10 verse 13, which says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And so many evangelists have gone talking to complete uh, non-believers, people who have never heard of it, and they just sit down with the book of Romans and go through those steps. We've all sinned. And, and if we just call upon the name of the Lord, we will be given eternal life and saved. It's an amazing book. Martin Luther recommended believers should try to memorise the whole book. I'm not suggesting that, but I would urge you to get a translation that means something to you and take on board some of the key verses and get as much of the word into you as you can. For a much better overview, now let me recommend the Bible Project Study of Romans. It's on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and look for Bible Project Romans and you'll get this wonderful animated overview of the purpose and the meaning and the layout of the book of Romans. So there's a button on the, on the screen to take you there, but there's also a button on the screen that will take you to our next reading from Romans, which is where we start. We start at Romans chapter 1 from Bald Rock in New South Wales where we have some friends helping us to read parts of chapter 1. Thanks very much for joining us today. Stay in the Word, and may the Word stay in you. You have a great day.